Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm really excited to do a video about vision boarding. If you don't know what a vision board is, I will teach you, but we're gonna be talking today about how to create a digital vision board on two different platforms, Canva and Notion. Now, why do I recommend doing two different boards? Well, there's a reason for this. So with Canva, what I love about Canva, it's such a visual platform. You can utilize your vision board on multiple platforms like your desktop computer background, or maybe your iPhone background, or just having it actually put inside of Notion as a way to look at it. I personally like having it as backgrounds because I think it's a great way to look at it every single day and remind yourself why you're trying to achieve the things that you're trying to achieve and the things that you actually want in life. And the reason that I also like having it in Notion is it actually helps you track how you're progressing on the things that you want. Now, there is a difference between goals and vision boards, so let's just talk about that a little bit because I think we need to kind of clarify what this means. So to me personally, vision boards is really direction. It's what you want in life. It is kind of an intention. It's a little bit more spiritual. It's a little bit more of like, this is what I want. I was actually at a vision boarding workshop yesterday and it was an in-person workshop. We were actually creating physical boards. And while I was there, I kept being like, mm, this isn't really my thing. I would rather make it on the computer. So that's why I wanted to make this video to kind of show people how I do it digitally. I think creating physical mood boards or vision boards are a great idea. I just personally wasn't in the mood to do it yesterday, so I just didn't end up making it. And I am more of a digital person anyway, so I thought instead of taking out glue sticks and cutting out magazines, I think I know exactly what I want and I wanna make something digitally. And so for all of you guys watching, you can do this as well. It's very, very easy and it's absolutely free. So let's talk a little bit about what the difference is between, in my opinion, a goal and a vision. To me, a goal is something that you're really working on. Usually it's it has to do with business or it has to do with something that is trackable. And then to me, a vision board is more just general. It's more of like, I would like this in my life and it doesn't always have a plan. There's not always something that you're working towards. It's just something that you're trying to attract into your life. There's a lot of different science behind this and that sort of thing, energies, whether or not you believe that. I do believe that having a direction that you're trying to get to and knowing what you want is the first step of getting anything in life. If you don't know what you want, you're gonna be on a hamster wheel forever and not actually go anywhere. So knowing kind of in general what you want and you never know what's gonna pop up, the more that you think about things, the more it's gonna come to you. So for me, vision boards, it can be a one-year goal, it could be a five-year goal, it could be a 30-year goal. But I think having a vision for that is a really important step. A couple other things that I would recommend doing is creating a word of the year. If you've never done this before, I have done this the last couple of years and it's so helpful because it really helps you decide at the beginning of the year, it is January um, that I'm recording this video, what you want in life. What do you want for the year specifically? What do you want to create for yourself this year? So my word this year is focus because right now I feel very unfocused and I'm doing a lot of different things. So my word of the year is focus. So a lot of the stuff on my vision board this year is gonna be focused on focus. Some other hacks with this that I've learned over the years is actually changing your passwords to your word of the year and then maybe adding some additional symbols just for security. But it helps you type out your word of the year every single day or every single time that you log into something. I think that's a really cool hack that I think a lot of people should check out because again, it's reminding you what you want in life. So going back to Notion versus Canva, again, Canva to me is like a visual representation of what you want. Notion, we're actually gonna be using that as like writing down your goals and being very specific about what you want. I use the 12 week year framework, which I'm actually gonna be teaching live in a workshop. If you're watching this before January 17th, 2024, you can sign up for our workshop that we're doing on planning your 2024. If you're watching it afterwards, you can sign up to watch the replay. But it's a really, really great walkthrough of how to use the 12 week year framework, how to use Notion to plan your year. So I hope you guys sign up and check that out. So let's head over to Canva and Notion and we will walk through how to create a vision board on both of those platforms. I think it's a really cool way to digitally have what you want in life available to you. So let's head over there. All right, so when we 
open up Canva, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in the words desktop wallpaper vision. So this kind of helps you get some bunch of vision board options for when it comes to templates. I would say start with a template. You could start with a blank page, but I think it's better to just pop things in. Now there's a bunch of different vibes. If you want kind of more of a ripped vibe where it looks like you ripped stuff off of a magazine, there's ones where it's a little bit more of just random words that you can type in yourself. There's a lot of different options. I'm gonna do something like this. Uh, you can see here, we've got a bunch of different stuff and I'm just going to open this up and click customize. So you can see here, this has a very specific color palette. You can change any of the colors, any of the words. Some of this to me looks a little bit more of just like a mood board. So for me, one of the things that I wanted to share is a concept um, I, that I actually learned yesterday and I want to share it with you about kind of a, an idea of ideas for how to create a vision board. So my friend told me that she likes to design her vision board in the way of feng shui. So she actually likes to organize it in the way that you would a feng shui house, which I was like, that's actually a really good idea for how to kind of come up with even topics of what to put on your vision board. So on the left upper side, she puts wealth, prosperity, um, then it's fame, reputation, then love and relationships, family, community, health and well-being, creativity, children, knowledge, wisdom, life, purpose, career, and helpful people, friends, travel. This kind of reminds me a little bit of my 13 pillars a little bit. Uh, so I thought, oh, why not use that for uh, Canva so that we can actually kind of come up with some ideas for different things that you can put on your vision board. So one of the first things you can do is head over to the photos area and you can actually start typing in. So for example, if I wanted to type in like money, let's just put money. All you have to do is go in and drag and drop, right? So maybe your goal is, you know, a hundred thousand dollars. Maybe that's what you put, right? Maybe, maybe that's your goal this year is to make a hundred thousand dollars or whatever it is. Uh, that could be the first step. All right, let's go back down. So let's scroll down. We've got fame and reputation. Maybe you want to be on a podcast. I'm just giving you guys ideas. You know, let's, let's pop that in here. Maybe we'll do, um, like a TV interview. Um, let's just do that here. Maybe you'll just say like podcast, right? Um, again, these are just ways. I'm just showing you guys an example of what you could do. All right, let's scroll down. We've got love and relationships. Maybe you want to get married this year. Maybe that's your thing. All right, let's just do this for now. Or find love, right? So again, you can make these bigger. You can make them smaller. Let's make this one bigger because then we can read it. And then I'll do that. And then you can obviously change the background colors. Like if I wanted to add my brand colors, or maybe I wanted to do something a little bit different. We can change out those colors. You can change the fonts, whatever you want to do. So basically, again, like I'm just going down here, like with health and wellness, let's do health. Let's just do, maybe, maybe you want to lose weight. Maybe that's a goal. Let's do like a positive one. There we go. Maybe you're, maybe you want to be strong. whatever it is, you know, again, so I'm just going to cut to where this is going to be done. And then I'll show you guys what I do with it inside of notion. Okay. So I've popped all the stuff in and I've made my vision board for the year or whatever. Um, so then what you're going to do is you are going to download this. So you're going to click share download. I would download as a JPEG just because it's a little smaller file size and then click download. Now there's two different things that you can do with this. You can also resize this and make this into an iPhone background if you want, which is probably something I'm going to do. I'm just going to call it vision for 2024. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings of my computer and I'm going to add this to the background. Okay. So you can see here that this is the wallpaper that I use. I'm doing stuff on the background. I go on my computer to appearance and then I click so you just search wallpaper in your settings click add photo and then I click choose I find it in the downloads you're probably not able to see this but anyways select that and now you can see that this is now my desktop wallpaper so let's see if you can I don't know if you can see the whole thing but yeah so now this is my desktop wallpaper and I can look at it every single day um, behind everything that I'm doing so there's a couple other ways I can use this. I could upload it here under, if I go to uh, upload, upload file, and then I could upload that image as well. 
if I wanted to. It doesn't show the whole thing, so you may want to make a smaller version if you want it to be in the background. Otherwise, for example, I have my goals um, area here. I could put it here, or I could even do something where I just import a photo. So if I do image, I can upload a file, and then I can upload it here so I can see it above everything. I could also do that on the home page if I wanted to. I could do it right here. I could do image, and then I could add my vision board right, right above. So now I have it here. It's the first thing I see. Again, this is all just options. You can do whatever you want. I actually kind of like it like this and maybe make it a little bit smaller. So if I had it like this, and then this was just a different picture, um, I'm actually just gonna remove it for now. Um, so this could be my vision board for the year. I could have it, again, on my Notion. I am gonna walk you guys through how to set this up on Notion as well, but I just wanted to share that that's something that you can do as well. So when it comes to making a vision board inside of Notion, there's two different ways that I like to think about this. So I actually have a button that's a, like a shortcut to go over here. This is my 12 week year version and I call it my business goals. So these are things that I wanna accomplish in the next year and they're organized by my 13 pillars. Now, if I go in here and this is just again on mine, I do believe I have this as part of the template as well. I have two different options. I have the goals, vision boards, bucket list dreams. So that's a different category. That's more of like long-term visions and goals. So those are things that I don't think are gonna happen in the next year, but they're things that I wanna happen in my lifetime. And I've tried to add images to everything. Again, they're organized by the 13 pillars. But for me, I like to have two different lists. One is really more of a goal setting one. So you've probably seen, I've done um, a couple of videos about goal setting. And I think having specific goals is different than having a vision board. Again, having a vision board is more about the general ideas. It kind of helps your body just get into like, this is what I want. This is kind of what I want to attract into my life. While business goals or the 12 week year, are the things that you're actually working on every single day to accomplish. That's why I have two different boards. And, and also with the vision boards, it doesn't always have a timeline, honestly. Sometimes it can happen in six months. Sometimes it can happen in five years, but it, it will happen eventually. You just may not know when it's going to happen to you. So with business goals and the 12-week year framework, which I'm going to be teaching more in that, in that class I mentioned, that's really more about having actual timelines and deadlines and that sort of thing. So we'll go into that a little bit deeper as well. I did want to mention that I actually separated out things that I'm saving up for. So the things that I'm actually going to buy, I actually put in a separate thing. So that's actually a separate area that's not the same as a vision and board or my goals. I've again, separated it out into things that I'm actually saving for. Um, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes it's, it's, it's helpful to have that. So some of these things again are, are just, general things I want to do in the next year. For example, like meditate daily, read books at least one a week, generate income, make $100 a month on Amazon. They're very specific. Run another 5k, um, get better posture, meditate and stretch every day, learn self-defense boxing. So all these are under health and fitness. You can see all of them, all the things that are on here. Some of these I haven't added images for, but you can see, you know, and here I have the status. So some of them have not started. For me, having them organized in this way where they're organized by the pillars, that is a very, very great way to organize and just know exactly the different categories that you're trying to get better at. So another thing that you can also do is you can have statuses. So over here I have under my completed goals, things that I've actually accomplished. Because again, if you have ADHD or you are motivated by things that you accomplished, having a space where you can actually see what you've done is very, very helpful. You could also create one of the things I probably will do is have a separate one where it's completed goals, and then you can actually just not have them be kind of cluttering up the main one. So what I could do for that is what I would do is I would go in and I would duplicate this, but then I would, and then you would duplicate uh, with the content. Um, what I would do is I would go in and then I would delete everything except for the ones that were complete. So what I would go through, I would go, um, I would find, view where I can see everything. So I want to find the ones that are completed. So if I go over to status, see that I have how many not started, not. So I could go through and delete everything except the one that was done. So let's go here and delete everything. 
So now you can see that that is going to be the only one that shows up. So I'm going to call this So now you can see what you could do is once you finish a goal, all you do is you move it over to the other one. So let's just say one of my goals is to get a business coach. If I chose the status as done, all I could do is click move. So I go to move to, then I would go to finish goals and then it would just transfer there. So now if I go back to finish goals, you can see I now have it there. I'm going to move it back because I haven't gotten a business coach yet. So I'm going to move it back to my business goals. So that's a very easy way to move things out of your vision board that you have accomplished. And then you have a great thing. Let's, let's make a new icon. Let's do like a check. So this is going to be your finished goals, right? So having separate boards for things that are being currently worked on versus things that are already done to me is one of the easiest ways to make it so it's not so chaotic. So those are kind of the, the ways that I've been using Notion to create both my vision board bucket list, dream board, as well as my actual goals. I've done a full video on goal setting where I talk about outcome versus progress goals. I also have that workshop I mentioned about planning using the 12 week year program. So hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you guys create a vision board, whether it's using Canva or Notion, and I hope that this helps you actually accomplish your dreams. If you wanna learn more about my Notion templates and my courses, just click down below. We have a bunch of things listed where you can learn how to use Notion effectively, as well as get all these different uh, stuff that you see today, which is my Notion templates. So I hope that you guys check that out and I'll talk to you next time.